Jacob was in trouble. The non-stop quarrel between him and his twin brother Esau had gotten worse ever since Jacob tricked Esau out of their father's blessing, a blessing that made Jacob both wealthy and the leader of the family. Esau felt less favored by God and by his mother and hated Jacob for what he had done. He despised Jacob so much that he wanted to kill him. Jacob's mother warned him of Esau's murderous intent and put together a plan that would take him far away from home to live safely with relatives. Jacob set off on his journey. After a long day of traveling, Jacob stopped for the night in a quiet and lonely area where he laid his head against a rock and fell asleep under the stars. While he slept, he had the most astonishing dream. In his dream, there was a ladder that reached down from heaven, and on that great ladder, there were angels moving up and down the steps. The Lord God stood at the very top and he spoke to Jacob. Your descendants will be as great in number as the dust of the earth, and they will spread out all over the land. All the families in the whole world will be blessed because of the nation that will become from you and your descendants. God reassured him, I am with you and will keep you wherever you go and will bring you back to this land. I won't leave you and I will accomplish what I have promised. When Jacob awoke from his dream, he was amazed at the wonder of it. The door to heaven had been opened. He'd witnessed angels coming and going between heaven and earth and he had seen and heard the voice of God. The night before, this land seemed ordinary and insignificant, but when he awoke, it was holy because God had been here. Jacob said, how awesome is this place? This is none other than the house of God, and this is the gate of heaven. Jacob got up early in the morning and took the same stone that had been a pillow for his head the night before and set it up as a memorial to God. It would be a reminder of God's amazing promise to his family and descendants and to all the families of the world. He renamed the place Bethel, which literally means house of God. When he was done, he made this solemn vow if God keeps his promise to be with me and keeps me safe and gives me food to eat and clothes to wear and safely returns me to my father Isaac's house, then the Lord shall be my God. And God kept his promise and he has continued to keep his promises to this very day.